Hello everyone, uh, I am back after so many days and today I am going to uh, um, discuss on one of the very uh, cool features of uh, PowerShell. Today I will tell you how to convert uh, contents on a, a text file into audio by using PowerShell. Okay, so we will write something on a text file and that text file will be converted into audio. Okay, for that what we have to do is that we will be uh, using uh, .NET Framework class in our PowerShell session. And how to use that uh, .NET uh, Framework class in our PowerShell session? By using a commandlet called add type. So I will be using a commandlet which is known as add type and then I will also use a commandlet called new object in order to further uh, explore the properties or use the properties um, of that uh, class the uh, .NET framework. So let's start. So I'm going to add a .NET framework class by typing the commandlet add type. This is the way to uh, uh, to uh, use the dot framework class okay so i will be using this class system dot speech okay and further i will be using new object commandlet in order to explore uh, one more uh, property of the system dot speech dot uh, synthesize synthesis okay then we'll be using speech uh, this one speech synthesizer okay that's it we have to this do uh, we have to use this only now what i will be doing is i will be uh, making uh, 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 steps to uh, get the uh, import data from uh, text file first of all let us define the location okay? so file location so file location or the location of my text file is I have uh, already created a text file at uh, this location okay now I will be how to read the contents of a, a file text file we have to for that we have to use a command called get content Okay. Get content, and then we will be defining the path of this get content. Okay. So I have defined, and you can see I have already uh, pasted some content. You can see the content here. In this, this one is the file. Okay. This, this is the file. Now what we will be doing, I will be uh, using uh, this variable, I will be uh, storing this thing into a variable, suppose say sync, okay. So this is sync. Now what I will be doing is, I will be using one more property by using dot notation, that is rate, means how fast the speech will run. And then the last step is speed. I will be using this speed property and I will give the address of the file. Okay. So you can now see. Let me increase this. Uh, the minimum is minus 3 and maximum is uh, 10. So let me increase the uh, this and it will uh, increase the rate of speech. So it will read this uh, thing for you. This uh, file. Chandrayaan 2 has been constantly in news. Notwithstanding the setback during the Grum's landing, ISRO's Chandrayaan 2 is imaging some never seen before pictures of the lunar surface and gathering vital information. The latest in the series is a 3D image of one of the moon's craters. The crater, located near Lindbergh, has minus 6.07 latitude and 53.40 longitude. Chandrayaan 2's terrain mapping camera 2 or TMC2 clipped this image at 5M spatial resolution and stereo triplets which are for Nader and app views. TMC2 did this to prepare digital elevation model or demo of the entire so surface of the moon. You can see that how it, it, it has worked. So this is the full script and thanks very much for watching. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.